Hey Grace, come and help me get a grocery out. I gotta pee. Okay, okay. Just hurry up before you wet yourself. My day started as shitty as it's always been, but <laughs> this was the day that everything went left. You don't quit, do you? I don't have time for this. You missed six appointments, Mephisa, and it's my job. Well, they must be paying you a shit load of money because you take this shit seriously. Why if you missed your appointment? Look, my aunt is sick, okay? And I'm her primary caregiver. I've been busy. Well, busy is a good thing, right? Am I to assume that you reconnected with your loved ones? No. Mephissa. Look at this mess. I thought we were making good progress. This is how I like my place, okay? I'm fine. We're here to help you, Mephissa. Nobody is going to help me, okay? Nafisa got Nafisa, that's it. Okay. We're gonna talk about this, your next appointment. Sure. Okay. I'll call you next month. Next, next month, mm -hmm. what time next month? Next month. I'll call you, we'll make the appointment, okay? okay. And I will see you next month. Yes. Remember, month. put it in your schedule. Okay.
Let's go back a bit. How long were you in therapy before? I saw Dr. Hanks maybe off and on for about a year or so. All right. what, what makes this day significant to your story? I don't know. But I do understand that that's the day it started to hit different. I lost my job that day. I was so hurt. It took three men and six hours in the holding cell to calm me down. And as I sat there, all I could feel was myself shrinking into a familiar space. I was triggered that day. Grace? Well, I spent years planning what was supposed to be this beautiful spring outdoor wedding to the man of my dreams. And my family is right there celebrating with me. Little did I know a tsunami was gonna hit both my dream wedding and my marriage. Anyway, it wouldn't stop raining that day, so we had to take the wedding indoors. The worst wedding ever. But none of that mattered because I had my sister, who I haven't seen in 10 years, right there by my side at my wedding. Suddenly everything just felt perfect. Sorry, I need a minute. Hey, you okay to keep going? You can take as much time as you need. Yeah, I'm good. I just, just needed a minute. You know what's crazy? Till this day, he still calls me at least three times a day and send me apology texts when I don't pick up. Yeah. He's hurting too. craziest part about that day was our wedding night. My own husband didn't even have sex with me on our wedding night, but he had sex with my sister. Oh. Nafisa might have some answers to that. Look, I, this is hard, but it's what you asked for. This is where the healing begins. Um, I mean, I'll be in. I just need a minute. Okay.
Yeah, what up, man? Where the fuck you been at, man? I called you a few times. Man, I've been home with a goddamn hangover, though. Last night was crazy. What's up with the smirks you about, though? Did you not see your feast at the wedding? Uh, I did. Dude, I need you to explain to me how it's possible that my sister-in-law was at my fucking bachelor party and no one cared to tell me about it. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, bro? She wasn't at your bachelor party. The feast wasn't at your bachelor party. She was one of the strippers at the party, man. You hired my wife's sister for my bachelor party? Bro, what are you talking about? I hired some chick named Denise that I saw a few times at the club. Other than that, shit. She bought a few of her friends. And one of the friends was Grace's sister. Get the fuck out of here. You think I'm gonna play about this shit? Oh, shit, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna be a stripper, bro. <laughs> shit. I mean, I haven't seen her in a while. And I had an old address that I sent her for an invitation, but dog, I didn't even know. What the fuck? This cannot be happening. Shit is so fucked up. Come on, man. This show was no piece of dog. I'm telling you it was her. And I think she knew it was me, too. You know, when Grace first introduced us, I didn't even realize that. Later, later on, it just hit me. And her sister won't give me a look, and she knew it was me. Fuck! Damn it. Oh, baby. You hit that shit? Oh, come on, man. Of course I did. God, you actually didn't care this much if I did it? God, what the fuck am I gonna tell Grace? Truthfully? I don't know, bro. I know one thing, though. Smashing the feast is a lot more worse than telling Grace you smashed her sister, bro. Why would you say that? Yeah. The feast is crazy, man. Always have been and always will be. Yeah, listen, if I was you, I'd be trying to get home right now and talk to Nafisa ASAP before she even tell Grace anything. Think she actually will? Hell yeah. Nafisa? Hey! What the hell? Can't you knock? Well, I'm sorry, but the door was already open. So? Now everybody knows, before you walk into a person's private space, you knock! Last I checked, this was my house. <laughs> Boy, you crazy. This is my daddy's house. So I take it that's why you left the mess downstairs? Like it's animals that live here? Well, could you please just pick up after yourself? Like the mess you made downstairs? I was trying to do that before you rudely interrupted with the yelling and the banging. But how are you doing that while you're in the upstairs bathroom? Just like this. What? Nafisa, we need to talk. No, we don't. We don't have nothing to talk about. Nafisa, I really would like to talk to you. Sorry again about earlier. Boy, you sure know how to waste time. Poor Grace. What's that supposed to mean? Is that what you really want to talk about? No, 
I mean, I just thought we'd come down here to the living room to talk about the come on the other other night when we were at the hotel and there's nothing to talk about a little secret safe with me plus I'm about to be out of here so fast you're not even going to remember I was here Lisa, I really don't you touch me are we clear I'm sorry, I had to take this. Do you understand why Grace would be angry at what happened, what you told her? No. I don't owe Grace an explanation. Ernest, her husband, he owes her an explanation. See, now what I don't understand is how, how can Grace ask me, a total stranger, to move into her house as a new couple and ask me to take care of her husband? That's insane. Sorry. And by the way, and I asked a stranger, I asked my sister to stay with me. Mm. My chama need a drink, but she don't need Chanel. Got her red by the on, she stepping on that. My red by the on, the better than vest. Rotation, all the Jew on shuffle. So, Cartier watch, I'm a bluffer. Jew, when I hire you, she disappears. You a better man, that's why I'm yeah. For your Jew in Louis Gucci, Fendi, Fendi. Plus, I shell it, Moko, so the Soko I keep a bottle of vibe, she toxic. Give me top in the rock. I'm gonna feel good. Yes. I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> what will it take for me to stay? Nothing. Look, I just think it's best if I go. That's all. You know you could be a little bit nicer to Ernest though. I mean I get it, he's acting up because he don't like change, but you know how men are on their ego. Ugh. Wow. I will stay on one condition. Really? Keep Ernest away from me. I can do that. Good. At least get him to be quiet till we sort things out, you know. He just thinks everybody's life revolves around him. And he's quick to lay his hands on people, so I get it. What the fuck are you talking about? Is he hitting you? No, but I saw him trying to grab you. He thinks everybody needs to listen to him when he talks. Grace, is that man putting his hands on you? Calm down, damn. No, because if he is, I promise you, I'm gonna kill him, period. Look, I don't care. I'm serious. If he puts his hand on you, I will put a hold inside of him. And I mean that. You care. See, this is why I need you around. It's been a long time, sis. And honestly, I've really missed you. It's cool with the mushy shit, okay? It's not mushy. <laughs> Remember when mom used to teach you how to make her famous... That bread thing. Oh, the rice, rice bread. The rice bread, girl. Girl, you should make that for this Sunday family dinner. I bet you Ernest will like it. Bond, you know, bonding. Damn. What? It's every fucking thing I buy Ernest. I mean, it'll be at Uncle Darlington's house. He'll be there. It'll be fun. It'll be great. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait. Everything. We are family. <laughs> you <laughs> I used to have trust issues, now I'm 
trusting you, my dear friend. You incredible, each you, you edible. No, I'm reliable, loving yourself. Bro, if she said, leave it alone, then move on and leave it alone. Like, how am I supposed to do that when the girl's trying to blackmail me? What? Hell you. What you talking about, bro? Blackmail you. 15K? You have two days to pay out? No house? Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh. See here, giving her the money is not even a problem. Okay. The problem is, I need to figure out who set this whole thing up. I can't believe this. Believe what? What's the next That belief? you actually think somebody's out here trying to set what you, you mean? up? Because that's exactly what it is. What do you mean? Oh, just pay her the double and ask her who is it. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Make it about 25K. I hate for this to ruin my marriage. Hey, trust me, bro. I will find out who's behind this. Man, I don't, don't know. Play me. I don't know. But if you want that smoke and you want to play gangster, Babe. <laughs> Baby. Why, Dave? Babe, what are you doing? I'm coming with you to the party. I thought you said that you didn't like them and they was beneath you. You didn't like them. That was until I changed my mind. Is that okay? You wasn't invited, right? Were you invited? Yes. Then I'm your wife, so I'm coming with you. You, you know Ernest, uh, Grace, and Nafisa is going to be there as well, right? That's the more reason why you didn't want me to come, but I'm coming with you. My baby right here. Child return to Glenwood. Come back here. You want to try saying that to my face again? See, your ass been on my skin since I got here. And all that money you be spending, just a little basic and average. Don't come for me. Just trust me. You don't want this. Take that shit over to Grace. 
Now don't play in the answer to the question. It's fucking fake ass Cardi B here want to know where the fuck I been. Answer the question. Everything's okay? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. How are you? I'm good. That's fine. Listen, I got a question to ask you. Um, who was the girl that you brought to the bachelor's party with you? Oh, Isis. Isis, okay. She's a new yes. girl. Okay, yes. But her name is really Nafisa, but she don't really want people to know her like that. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Is everything okay? Um, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. She, she really did a great job. All the guys loved her. And I was just trying to find out who she was because I wanted to throw something else. But, um, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You have, All right. All right. You have a good one. Bye. 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 Get in my shade with my scrap out. The all my resting goon, no more struggling. Cause we made up on the pile and now we bubble it. When you hear my story, you can see my scrapple. We must hustle, hustle, get to know what it's better than part of it. But the chest is your mower, I'm just in a mock. Of course, I got to get it. 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 Stay on your gun, 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 gun. 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 It's always solid move with the lot result. My energy be the reason they love it for. My enemy be hoping that I drop it for. But I'm way too strong to sell myself short. For gapping now we own. Can you just come over here, please? What the fuck do you want to do? Look, I, I just want to talk. I can even pay you for your talk. I don't talk out here to talk. I fuck out here. And I don't already fucked you, and I don't repeat customers. I need 25 grand. Oh. Repeat customers for the one time? Come on, Nafisa, look, I won't have anything to go home to unless you just hear me out. Please? What? My money. Come on, pay oh, up. Oh, shit. Good? We good. Your time's running. Oh. Grace Grace, you? I'm not doing that. I'm never going back to the house. Alright. Alright, okay. That, that was a lie. I lied. I want you to do that. Now, why would you want to do that? Yeah, we, yeah, we got off on the wrong foot, but I really want to make things right with you. Okay? Now, you tell your wife. And you had sex with me on the eve of her wedding. If she still wants me back, I'll honor your request. For someone who's all in my family business, you sure are transparent. Lisa, what do you want? What do you want, Lisa? Honestly. Grace loves you, Nafisa. She didn't see anything that day. I believe her. So now you think you know my family? If you ever put love, grace, and my name in the same sentence again, I swear to God, Ernest. This is not about you. And you need to leave me in hell alone. Oh, 25K tomorrow. If I don't have my money, I'm telling Chris everything.
I know it might be a little early, but it is not illegal. <laughs> oh no, I'd rather not. Propose a toast? Uh-huh. I mean, we can just drain. Mm. Well, I'll be traveling soon. Oh. What, I'm supposed to ask where you're going? Aren't you supposed to care? Okay, where to, Grace? Hi, Maria. Come on, just tell me your okay, itinerary okay, like okay. an adult. Dad's sibling wants to have a funeral anniversary for him. And he wanted at least one of us to be there. That's great. At least one of his kids going to be there for him. Didn't you just get married? Ernest? Girl, he a big boy. He can take care of himself. Besides, that's why I got you here. Keep an eye on him for me while I'm gone. You want me to watch your husband? Mm hmm? <laughs> are you happy, Grace? Seriously, are you? I mean, I know you always wanted this picture-perfect lifestyle. I mean, and usually it's... Are you happy, Grace? Catching up. Okay. Oh, y'all look so cute together. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, Lisa. Likewise, Ella. Promise me you will not go running off while I'm gone. Again. <laughs> Promise? I will be here when you get back. Okay. Baby, what time is it? We gotta go. I don't wanna miss my flight. Oh, right, right, right. I'll go handle that. <laughs> I'll see you when I get back. We're not gonna have this conversation again. I know, I know. Just last question. Last question. I just want to understand why you chose to sleep with me when you knew I was your sister's fiance. Did you enjoy it? You're just going to stare at me and not answer the question? Question. I mean, you didn't answer my question. Your question is irrelevant. Oh, oh my question is irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's be honest. Hmm? You went to the club that night mm -hmm. so you can get you some ass one last time before the wedding, right? I mean, not really. Ask you one more time. Did you 
There's a, a lot of pain, disappointment, anger, and hurt between the both of you. Confronting this hurt and taking responsibility for our actions is the first step to healing. The fuck? What is all this? You, you redecorated my whole room? What are you doing? You don't like it? Okay, I think this joke's going a little too far. Oh, come on. I didn't tell about the bachelor party, and I don't plan to. And we can take this to our grave with our little secrets. Now, come on. All I can remember All I can hear Was my sister's And my husband's Voice moaning Through my phone And as soon as I got home my heart was left right at my doorsteps. Did you plan all of this to hurt your sister? See, Grace has a way of ignoring reality and act like there's nothing happening around her. But this time, she was not going to ignore me. Now, let me make this clear. None of this was premeditated at all. It was a mere spontaneous burst of long overdue anger. triggered 
I was triggered because my sister Grace has a way of slapping you without even touching you. How cruel can you be, Grace? How stupid can you be to travel to Africa and celebrate a man like our father? She don't care for anything. That's why she keep losing everything. Somebody in the family had to be responsible. You made a mess of everything. And you just let it. What the fuck did you think I went on the cruise? You thought it was fun for me out there? Chris, I was a 12 year old old thing. Why your up in the ass while in school with the white folks? You want me to feel sorry for you? Goodbye. We all have choices. You made yours, and you made yours a lot of fucking it. I sure did. Okay, let's let's keep this in context. No, she got me fucked up, Doc. But you can communicate with respect to each other. Healing begins when we listen, relate, and appreciate what each other is sharing. There's a, a lot of pain, disappointment, anger, and hurt between the both of you. Confronting this hurt and taking responsibility for our actions is the first step to healing. Grace is not going to forgive me, Doc. I know that.
still kept this after all these years. I mean, I thought you would miss it. That's where you used to block everything else out, right? What you think? You never admit it to what you saw. I do remember. I remember daddy's body laying right here on this floor. You remember that? And mommy rushing to call the cops. I remember. So you do remember. Now do you remember what you saw in the bathroom? Do you? When I came home today... Nafisa, I don't want to hear it. You're always making up stories. That is what this shit is about? To prove a fucking point? What, she want to hit me? Nah, this for you. You get one good swing. Fuck to my husband. And you had the audacity. Tie him to my bed. Hmm? You ruined. Mom. You selfish grace. Mommy's in jail. And Frank is dead. All because of you. My life has been in shit. It's forever. And you had the nerve to stay here and talk to me about your marriage? Ernest. Ernest is a good man. Ernest is an honest man. You should have kept his ass out of it. This shit. This shit to deserve. This shit is not about the higher nigga. There you go again. You keep protecting and pretending. You keep pretending and protecting these scumbags. Why you want blood? You leave to the wolves. Chris, I was nine years old. You could have helped me. You did nothing to save me. The only one thing I regret. Off sooner. Answer me, Chris. I'm not going to beat you, okay? Tell me what you saw. Chris, Nafisa is your sister. You should be the one to protect her. Tell me the truth. I'm not going to beat you, okay? Please. I can't say anything. I don't know anything, Why? Mom. Why do you want attention so much? Just let it go. Chris! Hey, Mary Ann, what are you why do you keep trying to get them to tell lies about me? I mean, it's not like anybody's going to believe you. Grace, go to your room, honey. Frank, you are so sick. Why would you do that to your own child? She is only 13 years old, Frank. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
Okay, first of all, calm down, all right? You're actually gonna believe her instead of me. You know the fist has been a problem ever since she's been born. And you believe her. That girl hates me for absolutely no reason. You know what? Nefissa, go to your room. No, mommy, don't let him beat me. Go to your room. Mommy, please don't let him beat me. Frank, if you ever touch any of my kids again, I swear, if you ever touch any of my kids, I'm going to kill you, I swear. I'm going to kill you. seeking attention. Then the third time, she 
whooped my ass. And told me not to mention nothing so I don't bring disgrace to this family. So how the fuck was mommy gonna save us? Is that true? Truly sorry. You're not sorry, nephew. So save it. When was the last communication you had with your mother? And who initiated? She, she called me that night and I did not pick up. She left me a message. She called her because I called her to make sure what Grace told me that night was true. That was the last time I talked to her. Well, I suggest we have her join the next few sessions. We both have a lot of questions that only she can answer. She's no help to anyone, especially not her children. She gave up on us when she chose to go to prison. Grace. No. How can you say that? Mom saved me that night. Well, you, 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 you rather I go to jail? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you can learn your fucking consequences. Dog. And I don't think I ever will. So I'm good. So, how do we move forward? I don't know.
Oh, you a diva, I bite ya. The juicy, the drip on the board, now she freak up. Let me kiss on her teddy, make her no new speak up. That's a wet conversation. The way she want that, she got my attention. But you are like you in particular. Freaking the shit when I'm freaking ya. Mystical moment with dangerous. So back, 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 I think up. Girl, you look good when you back, I think up. Make up on a man, one put ring on your finger. Quarantine vibe, make me lock that thing up. So you go down fast, one, slow down. Touch your toe, make a club, baby girl, slow one. So you go down fast, one, slow down. Touch your toe, make a club, baby girl, slow one. We chocolate, we chocolate, we mash up the place.